Hello everybody, my name is Optimus Prime. Welcome to a very special Q&A. Today, we roll out to the Transformers 1 edition. Ready D16? Damn it Prime, it's Megatron now! And I'm always ready to kill you! <laughs> okay, let's get right into the questions. First question is from... The crossover person for the whole cast. What were your favorite scenes from the movie? There are many great scenes in the movie. Mine personally was when I gave D16 the Megatronus Prime decal. It was a heartwarming scene, but then again, that Megatron fight I had was pretty sweet. As much as I enjoyed the pep talk with Orion, mine was when I punched Shockwave in the eye. Oh, you are the absolute worst! Definitely when I got my sword hands and officially declared myself Badassatron. Oh, you know exactly what my favorite scene was! <laughs> Punching Orion in the face, of course! I'm kidding! It was killing Sentinel Prime! <laughs> v Scorpio for Megatron! My birthday is coming up, so may you sing happy birthday while beating up Starscream? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to V Scorpio! Happy birthday to you! Uh, are we done now? Done? We still have the birthday punches to go! What? Oh no, Brian for Orion. Do you have a strong compulsion to rip off faces now that you've been reformatted to Optimus? What? No! That's disgusting! What insane lunatic would do that? Though cinematically, it does sound cool. Should I be worried? Yes. Emerald flower for B127! Did Megatron rip out your voice box because you blabber too much, or is it personal? No way, Magiatron! He wouldn't do that! We were buddies! I mean, I know he ripped Sentinel in half and all, but no one could be that evil. Not even Megs! TF Clips 12 for Megatron! Will you rip out Bumblebee's voice box in the sequel? Yes, of course I will! That guy is crazy and does not shut up! Somebody needs to give the Autobots mercy, and that guy will be me! What?! Add Blackwood to all Transformers 1 characters. React to G1 designs. Oh, wow, I am so glad I do not look like that in the movie. I look like a Care Bear! Um, is that a ponytail? Why do I have hair? And more importantly, why do I look like Barbie? Ah, uh, now we're talking. That is awesome. I love it! Hmm, blocky. Very blocky and angular. I love it! It's amazing! I should take that design! Oh wait, I already do! Okay, that is much better. Although, that's a little too many spikes on my head. I can poke out Shockwave's eye with those. Again? You are the worst! Oh my goodness, he is absolutely adorable. At Hypershadic for Optimus. If you and Alita 1 ever have sparklings, would you name one Badassatron for Bumblebee? Ew, 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 gross! What is wrong with you? I don't know who you are, but we do not reproduce like that. And no way would I choose that name. I would. Why? As a form of punishment. That makes sense. Shen Scorpion for Starscream. Are you going to overthrow Megatron in the sequel? Probably. If he lets his guard down and proves to be a weak and pathetic leader, you betcha I will make my move. What? Oh, sh**. Lee Hoang for Optimus and Megatron. Do you guys know that Transformers 1 has the same PG rating just like Inside Out 2? You're joking me, right? Oh, of course, it makes perfect sense! A movie about crippling emotional anxiety is totally the same as watching a movie about where heads roll, ripping bots in half, and death! It's just like the days of old PG! I love it! So, if we're PG, what's it gonna take for a PG-13? Curse words! Oh... Bryce Bailey, aka Death Omega to Cliffjumper. Did you know you were the latest Cliffjumper who survived a Transformers movie? How do you know I did? You watched that race! You saw all those racers getting blown up and scrapped! Knowing my luck, I probably flew off a cliff and died! Relax, Clive Jumpier! I'm sure you're just fine! My name is Cliffjumper! <laughs> no, it isn't! Random Perfect for Shockwave! Is it true the reason you despise female Autobots because Alita punched you in the eye? I don't despise female Autobots! I only despise that female Autobot! I'm running away now! Good idea. 
Gladly to TF1 characters. React to your Michael Bay designs. Okay, I look very intense. This is supposed to be me, right? Because this doesn't give me strong enough to be gentle vibes. Ah, oh, what the heck? No! Why am I naked? Why do I look like 50 tons of cutlery clutched together? Oh my goodness, they're so badass drones. Will you cut that out? What the heck is this? Did I get run over or something? Weekly for Bumblebee, how does it feel to be a part of the government? Oh, it's great. I get to pay taxes, work 12 hours a day, and get to retire at the age of 68 million. I love it. Okay, is this guy ever not happy? Don Kyo Lee for Arachnid. What happened after you were captured by Alita and Orion? Last I remember, I was getting whacked constantly by Alita, and then I woke up in a trash compactor. Those guys are more messed up than me. Alita, what happened to Arachnid? Nothing she didn't deserve in Transformers Prime. Fair enough. At Soundwave for Optimus, ahem, why should we follow you? Because if you don't, I promise I will rip off all your faces one by one for the next four million years. Whoa, uh, I was in a dark place there. What's wrong with me? Darius for Alita 1, what exactly were you going to do to Shockwave if he didn't agree to follow Orion? Nothing terrible. I would have just given him a second eye. But he only has one. I know. You really need help. The fandom channel for Starscream. Why you want Megatron to hit you more? He just punches so softly. It's like a teddy bear punching me in the face. It's amazing. I'll show you amazing. Here's a free one. Ah! Oh, that was great. Thank you, Megatron. You're really weird. Iron Blood Enjoyer for Optimus and Megatron. Could you react to the 13 Primes designs? Wow, that is cool. But it needs more color, though. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the most minute details. Huh. Looks exactly like the War for Cybertron one, but older. <laughs> Look at him. He's so round as adorable. White and gold again? Why do so many of these primes have the same color scheme? Wow, that is awesome. He looks like Skylinks from Transformers Prime. Um, are we sure this guy isn't a Quintesson? I mean, look at him. Nice Doomslay outfit, four eyes. <laughs> I'm kidding. He looks awesome. I gotta be honest, he looks so much better without a beard. Huh, he surprisingly looks like every other generic Autobot I've killed. I, I mean, I've met, destroyed. I've killed many Autobots. Wow, she is beautiful. What was that? Um, I mean, she looks very beautiful. You're dead. Cool, despite that large bell for her head. <laughs> what is that? What the f is that? Is that even a Transformer? I have no idea. He doesn't even have a face. Mag for Ironhide, what was your reaction when Sentinel Prime got ripped in half by Megatron in Transformers 1? I was so pumped. I was like, yeah! That's a D16. Give him the jazz treatment. Wait, what? Estaka for Alita 1, why did everybody get powers except you? I have no idea. I was given a cog of the primes just like Orion, D16, and B, and I got nothing. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Are you sure it's not because you're better in every way? Not funny, Pax. Flame Fox for Shockwave. What was B127 saying after you captured Orion, Pax, D16, and Alita? Bad things. Really bad things. Things that wouldn't even warrant a PG rating. What if my fellow High Guardsman Acid Storm, he killed himself after hearing those things. No, I didn't. I just fell on the ground. You see? The horror. For all games for Optimus Prime, how do you feel after Megatron betrayed you and dropped you into the core of Cybertron? Well, I died, so I didn't really feel anything. But now thinking back, I feel absolutely crushed. Maybe punching him for the next four million years will make me feel better. Oh yeah, because that will work! Do you not feel good punching Starscream? All the time! Blooper for B. Did you hold a funeral for your friends A.A. Tron and Steve? I did. I threw them into the smelter while singing Amazing Grace. Oh, why did you guys have to be murdered by me? You were so young! Should we, uh, help him? Nope. 
Shadman Ula, hey Megatron! Now you're supreme leader of the Decepticons, what are you going to do about the Quintessons? Nothing. Yet. I'll let Prime struggle to defeat them, and when the time is right, me and my Decepticons will swoop in and get the job done, proving to Cybertron we are the true rulers. Rise up! That is brilliant, Megatron! Shut up, Starscream, I know it! Julian Lung for Foxatron. What characters do you want to see in the sequel? And should Transformers One Show Stand be the title of the sequel? That would be awesome. That way the third movie can be called One Shall Fall, naming the trilogy as the One Trilogy. Just like how the Spider-Man trilogy in the MCU is called the Home Trilogy. As for the characters, I'd like to see Devastator, Jetfire, and Ultra Magnus. I just like those guys. Box Cub for Prime and Megatron. What is your personal opinion on how the movie did your backstory? Justice. Doing something new while paying respect to the source material. Seeing us grow into the characters we are was a privilege to watch. Plus, they made me awesome! Finally, I got the justice I deserve! Something Michael Bay could never do! On that, we agree. I am not a whiner! I'm just emotional as all! Have you tried removing your emotions? Where is the logic in that? Miguel Games for Jazz! How you feel when you nearly died on a Ryan saved you? I was flipping out, man! In the cinema, I was like, don't you dare, Hasbro! And then before you know it, Orion left me for dead! I felt so betrayed! What are you talking about, Jazz? I saved you! Did you, Orion? Did you? You couldn't even save my leg! Ah, uh, no sacrifice, no victory? That's low, man! NMP for Bumblebee. How did you actually get transferred to the bottom floor? What did you do that you were demoted so much and what was your original position? I was a substitute assistant to Sentinel Prime. I was amazing at it. But one day I got his name wrong and embarrassed him in front of everyone at the party. What did you call him? Sent I know Prime. What a surprise. Last question goes to just random guy for Megatron. Did it feel good to... Uh what? Another one? Wait, what is happening? What? Are you serious? Why did you turn Sentinel into a Kit Kat bar? Okay, seriously, guys, calm down. Prime as you humans are bloodthirsty. I didn't enjoy it that much. It was only the best day of my entire life. <laughs> oh, I got to do that more often. Hey, Jazz, come here. I want to show you something cool. No way, man. And that does it for the questions, everyone. Thank you to all who have submitted. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Follow us on X, Instagram, like and subscribe, and roll out. Louder. Transform and roll out.